They know you as a playboy. They know you as a, this kind of man they call public husband, general husband, community husband, community man. So you have Ikechi, you have Sandra, you have you have Joy, you have everybody around you. All right, I'd like to say a big happy new year to you. Welcome to 2023 from all of us in Think Tank TV. It's a new calendar year and we trust that we're going to do our best to bring good content to you. For all those who have been following us all this while, I'd like to say a big thank you to our subscribers, to all those who have been watching, liking our videos. We do not take it lightly. Do well to ensure you continually, continually follow us, right? And today we have in our midst today, Sister Mercy Chepaka to do justice to the topic we want to treat. We also have Mr. Ugochuku Obono in the house to help us treat the topic why women run from you, right? We trust it's a new year and obviously a lot of people would have gotten some resolutions. You have one of the things you want to resolve in your life to get a better result. And that's how we talk to treat that topic. I'll bring Sister Messi on set. She's the CEO of Ask Messi Relationship and Career Affairs. And Mr. Obundo, Ugochuku Obundo, he is that leave it like you know him to help us do justice to the topic. But before you comment, do well subscribe. If you're new to our station, subscribe, hit the like button, and do us an email. Tell us what your thoughts are in the comment section, and we'll be here to serve you. Sister Messi, good to have you in the studio. Same here. Mr. Gochuku. Thank you, I've been here forever. Good to have you in the studio. Alright, so one trick topic we title Why Women Run from Men, right? Because obviously men run from women. But want to know at this time why women run from men because there are some, also some men who have attributes that make some women to avoid them, to leave them. That's what we want to treat as it's a new year, right? So, Sister Messi, let's start with you. Why do you women often want to leave a guy, run from a guy? Okay, why do men run from a guy? You want to get married, you want to settle down, but you just notice that. Um, women are running away from you. One of the reasons might be number one, if you are known to be a man that strings women along, a man that strings women along is going to be a man that women will want to run away from. They know you as a playboy, they know you as a, this kind of man they call public husband, general husband, community husband, community man. So you have Ikechi, you have Sandra, you have you have Joy, you have everybody around you. And it's like these girls have their particular function they carry out in your life. You cannot focus on the goosey soup. You want to eat up raw, bubble no. And they know you that this is the kind of man you are. So when you meet a woman that is um particular about settling down, a woman that knows what she wants, you tell you want to you want to date her or you want to marry that kind of woman, they are going to leave you. So you find out that you cannot get any serious lady around you that especially knows what she wants. I find out that these men who stream women alone, when you ask them, where are we headed? Where are we going? They'll tell you, ah, let's go with the flow. Let's just go with the flow. Let's just see where it is going. Hello, where is it going? You know that that kind of man is not serious with you. There are other women who stream you alone with. Because only dead fishes go with the flow. So we, we, we cannot flow. There is no flow. So I tell girls, hello, do not go with a man that is stringing you along. And a man that strings women along, you cannot have a woman stay with you. So they will run away from it. Wow. wow. Especially a serious minded wow. female. Run away One serious action, what I got here is only dead fishes go, go with, with the flow. flow. Yes. All right. So well, I want to look at it from this perspective, right? Um, a, a young man meets a lady, obviously not every relationship leads to marriage, right? Yeah. And you get to meet a lady, you go out with her and sometimes you you guys communicate, but there's no connection because there are some people you get to meet, Yes. the connection is not strong, right? Yes. And um, it's obvious that there's no connection, but you still keep pushing. The lady knows that I will start out, but there was no flow, we couldn't flow, we couldn't talk, right? And there's no need to continue this relationship. Exactly. But you as a guy, you keep still pushing, right? That could be a reason. That's, that's how I want to look at yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. That could be a very big reason okay. why such women want to run away. You should be able to know yourself. Okay. Yes, you should be able to know yourself. Some men also lack emotional availability. 
If a woman finds out that you're not a man that is emotionally available, yes, you can be going after her and then she's saying no. And when the woman says no to you, hello, just carry your dignity and then find your way. Alright, so when a woman says no to you, carry your Stop dignity. Stop pushing, yes, yes, yes. You don't when, the, when the connection is when not the connection over, is not there is no connection exactly. here. Exactly. Come on, you've got to move along. Alright, let's go jump to the second point, Mr. Mochuko. What's the second thing that can make a lady? Because obviously your marriage will be given us from your experience as well. <laughs> okay, I one of the things that makes a lady run from a man or run from you is one who does not have planning is not what you want. Then if I see a lady and I excuse me, lady, I like you. The next thing she wants to hear is what why is this person coming to me? What is this person proposing? And if I'm not proposing what will make her want to flow with me? She cannot she can pay attention for that moment. And then she won't. Or she can say, okay, let me try and see what this person has. And not too many ladies out there. This is the mindset we use every time a man comes to them. Let me try it out. And when they see along the line that this man does not have any plan, me I call it being responsible. Because there's no way a man who is responsible will not have plan. So every lady before you Say yes, or before you want to mingle, or every man before you want to chase after it, you must have plan and be responsible for that plan. Because just like I will use an example, if you go to a site, a construction site, the supervisor is not responsible for that site. The HS manager is not responsible. Who is responsible is the site manager. The child manager interfaces with the board, the board. So in a relationship like this, the man is the relationship. Uh, manager. So you are responsible for that relationship. So there's, a, there's what they call site plan. There's what they call project plan. You want me, you like me. What's the plan? What are you working with? Is it I like you, you find girl, you're looking sexy, let's go here, let's go there. That is not what I want. And secondly too, no, every woman wants a serious relationship. It is a man that makes these women feel this relationship not a serious one. Because no woman wants to go into something Yes, we have a lot of ladies out there that just want to have fun. But I tell you, since five years of these women, they want something serious. So you give them a plan. If a man and you're due for marriage, your plan should, before you call a girl that you want to marry, you should have a plan. If I meet you in, in two months' time, I should be going to see your parents. It's a plan. If I go, if we go out today, tomorrow, I should propose and say I want to marry. If I say, okay, we've gone to see your parents, the next week I should be planning to, okay, Taking the get the list or what is the marriage like, right? Or if it's not marriage, we want to okay, we want to have a relationship that I am not ready because I'm not financially stable. You there's a plan. You talk to the lady that's okay. Right now I don't have the finance to marry, but I want us to do something. And woman is like the supervisor inside, she's a support. And that woman will support you to any length if you have a plan that suits her personality. All right. So what what, what, what you're trying to say is. The, the, if there's a clearer picture, you tend to have a better vision with the lady, right? Yes. So in as much as there are ladies who are authoritative out there, there are also women, most women want a man who is a leader, right? Yes. Who has a clear picture of where we're going. So that reminds me of something. I was discussing with someone some time ago and she was like, um, we just, we're just talking about her relationship and she okay. was like, um, uh, a guy would always not have a clear picture of where they are going to say, so, baby, where are we going? Where are we going to sit out? And she was acting so bitter about it. And I was like, ah, this is not this should not be a biggie. If your man doesn't know where you where he, he wants you guys to so, go to, okay. you should be able to suggest because yeah. of course if you guys are friends. But for me, I picked up something from there because she was particular about the fact that he doesn't have a clear picture, clear picture of, of where exactly they are yes. going to. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so like that, there was no plan, no effort. Was, yeah, so yeah, no plan. Yeah, no plan. Let's go out. You get yeah. to Johnson and you're confused. So we are doing yeah, that we're going to. So, so, yeah. Let's try here. Let's try here. Yeah. Yeah, you're confused. So, so, I know women hate, women hate that a lot. You brought her out and you kept her in the particular spot a long time. Because you're, you're, you're not interested in, in the entire thing. So she will just feel irritated. No value. She will feel irritated. Why did you bring me out? We don't know where we are. The point, the better thing to do is, okay, babe, I have three or four places I want us to go. Let's visit here, let's visit here. 
which one would you prefer? You could have like having her opinion. Yes. That's, that's, right. that's, that's, right. that's okay. Yes. That's okay. Yes. That's okay. Yes. That's okay. Okay. I think this, I think this, this is the best better option. It option. also shows you value her option. I right. want to give her the right. best. When you place the options on the table. But when you don't have an option, then she cannot give you an option. So, 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 so ultimately, what we're saying here is a man should have a clear picture of yes. what he wants. Yes. It has to do with real life issues, as it has to do with little issues, as it has to do something like as, as little as what we are going to have. Have direction. Women want a man who is a leader, right? Thank you so much. Tell me the right. Okay, the third reason why a man, a woman will want to run away from a man. A woman will want to run away from a, from a man that practices the word we want to call ghosting. Any man who ghosts a woman or goes silent on her is a man that is immature, is a man that is um, a manipulator, is a man that is not emotionally evolved, is a man that is not a leader. Alright, sister, I'd like to cut you. Can you please give us a clear, clear picture of what ghosting is in particular? Okay, yeah. ghosting is the act of, just, okay, let, I'll, let, me, let me bring it to the basics so the layman can understand. Yeah. You know, it does say that this film we call We Really. For those that were born in that era, yeah. the really really is like a ghost that comes, he appears and then he disappears. Okay. So ghosting is a form of abruptly cutting communicating someone. Yes, excommunicating someone okay. through lack of communication, lack of affection, lack of attention. You just abruptly like you just cut it off and you make the, the person starts to question why. There is a why when there is a ghosting. Why did this person do, uh, um, do this? Where is this person? When will those person appear? Most time, most ghosts they come back. You know, the ghost is the really, really thing. You disappear and then you you appear. <laughs> yeah. So you're blowing hot and cold in that relationship. It's a strong manipulative techniques. And with the ghosting, you do what we call the silent treatment. And the silent treatment is a form of ab emotional abuse. So persons don't know about this. You don't just cut people out like that. So you find that ghosts are people who are not open to communication. You, you did wrong or, or, in fact, most ghosters cannot be expressive of how they feel. The woman hurt you or the woman did wrong or there is something you don't like about the relationship. You can't call this person, sit her down and talk to her about it. My woman, I, I don't like this character or this is what I want or whatever. Instead, you just go ghost. We have lots of ghosters as partners. So a woman can leave you when she finds out that you're a ghost. You're a ghost. You're a ghost. You have a tendency, ghost, tendency, tendency a also to also be a ghost. See, no one wants to be ghosted because right. it makes you it makes you question your value in the person's life. It makes you question your authenticity. It makes you even question your self worth. Hey, look, things are going smoothly, and all of a sudden you just disappear. Like right. I said, it's a high level of manipulation most persons use. So <laughs> if a woman is running away from you, hello, just check the box and ensure that you're not a ghost. Wow, wow. Don't wow. practice because, ghosting. Because most people ghosting. will be like, most people will be like, ah, she should be able to read the handwriting on the wall. She should know, right? What is the, the advice here is when a lady finds out that. If you have the tendency of ghosting, yeah. even the tendency, not even the actual ghosting, yeah. the tendency is you came to me and you told me you like me or whatever, and we're talking. By the next, uh, okay, you will promise to call me, let's say by 5 o'clock, and you didn't call from 5 o'clock till the next day, and no response of, ah, my car or my phone or whatever, you have a tendency to ghost. And even when you come back, you're not even say, I'm sorry, I promised I was going to call you that day or X, Y, D, this is what happened. Before you know, when you contact the woman, she thought we're talking Sister to Lisa, I know that we we had to talk about men today, but I think you should take it a little easier, not right. <laughs> <laughs> so only the tendency of a ghost. No, nobody should be involved in a relationship with a ghost town. Alright, alright. So we're going to jump to the fourth point. Oh, we'll call it the rap, right? Mr. Luchuku. So what is the fourth thing that a woman would look out for to want to leave a man? A man that says something and does something else. Just like the church he painted in the ghost town. Yeah, thank you. So most of most men who say something else and do something else are ghosts. Mm. It just comes with an intention. It comes with an intention, and once they get that thing, they just yeah, yeah. so they will come and tell you, um, I will take you. Okay, don't worry, I will be the best man in your life. Anything you want, I can provide. And I tell men, don't make that promise to a woman. You give her everything you want. I will tell you. You cannot. That's where we get it from as men. 
And that is why so so many, say I'll give you the word. I'll give you the word. So me, I'm going to stay now. <laughs> so when, when it looks as though you you don't have the word anymore to give to her, it seems as though you're going not, back to your promise. Yes, yes. You said something else. And you're That's something. what you can't do. I can give you the word. And beg God, well, just just come and buy you an iPhone. And let him, we should start dating. You don't have the phone, it's bad. I'll get you an iPhone. I have friends here, I have friends, I have friends here. And I want to lie. Lies. Lies. Because what we forget is when we get into this relationship, Entering is different. When you're coming to stay, it's different. When she's coming, she's coming with so much expectation. When she enters the house, the relationship is a house. The truth itself will begin to uh, mm-hmm. express the manifesto. Yeah. 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 And she gives us that all what she saw is not what she's getting. Yes. So we begin to run away from it. We begin to feel uh, 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 one, two things that you will see that will happen to that man or that The value will reduce and there will be lack of trust. Yeah. Man, who do we say this and those are not, you know, who does not keep to their word? One thing they lack to their heart, which is trust. And women will just withdraw that trust from the man. Oh, and that's, and that, is, that is it. That is it. The highest thing that can happen to any relationship is when the woman withdraws her trust from men. It's also when you, you if you make, a, if, you, if you're like, you're discussing with her and she makes a comment and tomorrow you use that comment against her and you say it in a way that it will not be for you. It's another way of someone running away from you. You can now have a relationship where it's as if a person says this and you say it like this. I go to God and I'll be recording you so that you know what you're saying. But sometimes we say all these things, we do some of all these things to we lie just to get back at the person. Wow, wow. Uh, so the point I, I take here is that when a woman finds out that you are not accountable for your words, yeah. right? She, she tends to see you as a serious person, and that's enough reason for her to want to leave you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And uh, by my observation, I think women also take little things very seriously. Sometimes you say something that you actually do not mean so much. Please say what you mean. You may be careful about something, but they've already taken it as a promise. Right? Be a man and, of your and when it seems as though you have not done what you said casually in your mind that you took to be a promise, it seems as though you are not being accountable for your words. Right? We'll call it a wrap for this program. I trust you have learned something today from our program. But then we bring it forth insightful and educative program. Trust me, this year we've got some things for you. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag right now, but in our subsequent programs you'll get to know. Thank you so much for viewing our program today. We do not take it lightly. If you're new to our session, do well to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button with in red. Do well to give it a thumbs up and help the algorithms of our video. That's the only way you can help us. Do us an email, do a comment to us. Tell us what your thoughts are about for our discussions. Ah, I'm going to be here to say it. Mr. Messi, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Mr. Ugochuko Obodo, thank you so much for joining us. Viewers, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.